I've got four kids, Isabella, Elliot, Noah and Theodore. And Elliot's disabled. There's like been circus skills, forest school's been there. They've had the Little Monsters rugby and football, which my son's really enjoyed. The art gallery stuff, they've really enjoyed. They've really enjoyed it all. It's all been really good. They've really enjoyed the food, and they've been really good for my son, actually. The most important thing is that it's basically letting my child let go the screen time, and it's basically helping uh, to improve their social health, emotional health, as well as mental health and definitely by playing their physical health is improving. They are learning a lot of new things from it. The family activities are giving us a family time together in which we are basically developing a strong bond and relationship between my sons, my kids, as well as my husband. When it comes to sort of finding activities to do for the kids in your local area, not having to travel too far, and the sort of variety of activities that are going on. I've got my girls who like arts and crafts and painting, and making beads or whatever it may be. And then you've got my son who likes sort of climbing walls and doing the football or the sports or whatever may be going on. So yeah, and it covers up something that they all enjoy. They have fun and they enjoy it and it tires them out, which is a bonus. <laughs> the activities are hugely valuable and particularly when people are feeling the pressure of cost of living, that gives them something they can do at no cost. I was walking over and I saw the um, children dressed up in sumos battling into each other, I thought that's absolutely fantastic. I then walked on and saw the goats and I, I was actually on the phone to my daughter at the time and said, I've got to go now, this is just too exciting. <laughs>